This is the Vidmar. It's a Swiss made lock that in this configuration is being used in uh, toolboxes and stuff like that. It has two times five sliders that are actuated by the tracks in the key. And well, yeah, it's quite fun lock to pick. So number one is binding and now it's free. Number two binding now it's free two. Number three is jiggly. Number four needed a push. Looking for number five is jiggly. Let's try again. Those sliders are not sprung, so they do not spring back into the idle position, but they still can fall thanks to the gravity. So quite often slider needs to be reset. So let's see. One is jiggly, two is jiggly, three seems to be jiggly, four is jiggly, five is jiggly. So let's try the left side. One is jiggly, two is jiggly. Three seems to be jiggly, four seems to be jiggly, five is bound, okay. And I got a small core movement, so let's try the right side again. One is jiggly, two is jiggly. Where is three jiggly? Four is jiggly. Five is jiggly. So one on the left side is free to move, two is free, three is free, four is bound, one is free, five needed a small push. Okay, now it's free. One is bound, now it's free and has a small core movement. Two is free. Three is free. Four is bound and had a small core movement again. One is free, okay. Two needed to push. Two is free, and we are halfway there. So one needed to push, two seems to be okay. Three is okay, four is okay, five is okay. Let's try again. One, two needed to push. One is free, two is okay, three is okay, four is bound, and we are open.
unfortunately this lock is not easily guttable without destructing it so I'm not going to gut it, sorry as you can see it's intact and the key still works so that was the Widmar thanks for watching bye